Rishev, you brought up Fondue earlier in the chat. My next topic is something that is a little bit on the loose side as far as sources, as far as what I was able to pull. So don't take everything I'm going to be talking about here or, you know, just covering seriously. It's more of a speculative thing because ever so often I open up Instagram and there's some people who are posting some shit here from China during a China Toy Expo where they showed some stuff that I'm like, is this for real? And that's the good old folks at Fonjoy possibly delivering the goods as far as reissues, 2.0s, remakes, remasters, and just some brand new spicy goodness. Let me bring up the first post I saved here. Let me make sure I'm not showing anything too crazy. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I think we're good. So this is the first batch of photos I got. From Fun Joy prototypes being shown at a China Toy Expo. And this includes the Nightmare Bat... Basically, all of the BVS, Batflick, Batmans that we have, have not gotten so far. Which is... It's... Yeah. Which is Nightmare Batman with the coat right there. Tactical Suit Batman from Justice League. Both versions. And then the Armored Batman from BBS with the spear and even the uh, Kryptonite Grenade Launcher. Missing here is, of course, the original BBS Batman that we've already gotten and I reviewed. And the upcoming, I think it's either about to release or has released, but it's slowly starting to get shipped out to storefronts. Which is the Justice League Batman, but he d it's not the tactical suit one. It's like the regular suit one, but it's slightly different than the BBS one. It's kind of have it kind of has like a much more muted color. It's got like pads on the abdomen. Uh, the cowl is a little bit more tight, sealed here around the neck area. So there's some like modifications they made to the suit. Uh, that version is on the cusp of getting released, and I will try to figure out. If I have some kind of in way to review it, I don't know if Kalki is going to be able to supply it again or if I'm going to have to buy it out of pocket. I'll let you guys know. But uh, that's what's missing here. So we got these three prototypes coming. And then we get into Flash territory or uh, somewhat Flash territory, somewhat not. So we have a Keaton Batman Fonjoy. However, from the looks of it, I believe it's the 89 Batman because of the cow how much bigger and girthier the cowl is. And also, I can see if I look a little closely, I don't think I can zoom in. Can I zoom in? Nope, it's only increasing the font. I don't know why I do that. But if I kind of squint my eyes, it looks like I can see the wingtips at the bottom of the bat symbol on his chest. And that usually is indicative of it being the... Uh, it, it's definitely not the Flash suit. Um, but I thought maybe it's the Returns. But no, then I look at the abdomen and I'm like, no, this is uh, 89 Batman. So we have 89 Keaton Batman. We have the Flash Batman. Just not colored. But you can easily tell from all the extra bullshit. He's got on the thighs and the chest and the, uh, the arms that this is the Flash uh, Batman that we got at the beginning of the movie. Of course, from said movie, again, Flash, who's packing, which uh, I would generally compliment if it wasn't Ezra Miller. <laughs> and then cut off on the side. Is she on the next photo? She's not on the next photo. But cut off a little bit here is Supergirl, also from The Flash. Gotta be honest. We'll see if they actually bring her to market, considering the lack of demand. There's barely any demand for Flash himself. So what makes you think we're going to get Supergirl, considering that she's not even going to be continuing in the DCUs. So I'm like, uh, I don't know about that, guys. But then we're moving on to stuff that is very likely going to sell, which is Dark Knight Trilogy. Joker, Bane, Batman from the Dark Knight. No begins representation again. Kind of a bummer. But still, the fact that we're getting Dark Knight Trilogy figures from Fon Joy this should be interesting, and they should definitely bring these to market. As I mentioned and hinted at a little earlier before Rishav, it looks like we're getting a proper 
rehaul, revamp, remake, whatever you want to call it, 2.0 of Cavill's Superman. Because we already got a fun joy Cavill Superman. But from the pic, I don't own the figure, but the pictures themselves just make the thing look goddamn awful. I'm sorry. It just he has like a pencil neck and his proportions are off. I just never saw the appeal of the figure. But I'm glad to see that they're going back to the drawing board and saying, hey, we we are now licensed. Pro, you know, because at that point I don't think they were licensed, but now that they are licensed, they got the Cavill likeness. They're overhauling the head sculpt. I can easily tell that that's a much better head sculpt, and I'm eager to see how this thing's gonna look like painted. I'm a little. It's it's a very it's likely a very early prototype, so it's a little concerning that he doesn't have any actual articulation in the limbs. But maybe this is just a proof of concept thing, where they just articulated like the torso, and that's it. But you can definitely tell now. The question is, I can't tell from the utility belt if this is Man of Steel, Superman, or if it's BVS Superman, or even Justice League. I don't think it's Man of Steel because I believe in Man of Steel his hair is combed the other direction. And it's a little poofier. Here it's a little bit more straight laced. So that makes me think it's either BVS or Justice League. But outside of that I don't know. And then we have to find out whether or not it's going to be the red and blue suit or the black suit again. So yeah. And also just for clarification shout out to Coleccionistas Multiversos from Instagram for providing these photos. Granted, it's possible that maybe he took these photos from somebody else. I'm not sure. Even though it looks like it's the at Fonjoy official page on their Chinese social media. Because I know that in China, they have their own social media platforms. They don't have Instagram. They don't have uh, Twitter. Definitely don't have Twitter. Um, so they, they have their own stuff over there. So they pull those photos. That's how it's very difficult to find these kind of photos without either digging for them or just waiting for someone to you know post them over here. We have the Bat Pod from the Dark Knight Trilogy. So they're getting into vehicles. I don't think up until this point we had Fonjoy vehicles. So I find that kind of curious that their first potential outing of that, delving into vehicle territory, is going to be the Bat Pod. And then we got some diorama pieces for both Joker and Bane, both of which are now missing their coats. So I'm wondering if this is going to be like some kind of variant or deluxe edition because... I'm wondering if it's going to be two different skews for these where it's like, okay, you can get Bane sleeveless and he comes with the diorama, but no coat. But if you get the coat one, you get a much more accurate look, but no diorama piece and no sleeves. Whereas over here, this Joker, no coat, but he comes with the jail set diorama. So I'm wondering if they're taking... (laughs) I wonder if they're taking a page out of McFarlane to be like, oh, well, you got your gold labels here. I just don't know what Fonjoy would call them. The looks sets. I don't know. But here we have this whole assortment here up on their wall. Their current releases, some of which are, like I said, not licensed properly because of the Superman down there. There's that upcoming Justice League ba- uh, Ben Affleck Batman that I was talking about, not the BVS one. The current releases that are fully set to come out. There's that Pattinson. God damn it. There's that wonky black suit Superman, but then all the prototypes, of which I didn't get any close-ups of. There's Supergirl again. There's Keaton Batman. So, wait, there's another Keaton Batman? That's Returns Batman. I can see the paneling of the of the chest. That's Returns Batman. So we have an 89 Batman over here and a Keaton Batman over here. I mean, I'm sorry. An 89 Batman over here and a Returns Batman over here. But then when we see this giant setup here, I believe, again, I can't zoom in because Instagram doesn't blow up the picture. It blows up the font, but it doesn't blow up the picture. I want to say here, these two, we didn't get close-ups of these. But from physique and silhouetting, I want to say this is Catwoman from Dark Knight Rises. And I want to say this is Bank Robber Joker. Something about the head sculpt looks like it's got the same thing going on as this Joker, but he's got the shorter suit, the much more like grayed out suit. And that looks like the the bank robber mask, the clown mask he's got going on. I want to say that's it right there. Not 100% sure. And like I said, our only other photo is this one right here. So yeah. Quite a bit shown here as far as Fonjoy prototypes. And we'll see just how many of them 
will go into production. There's some of which, like I said, I'm almost willing to bet won't go into production because of demand, because of how poorly the movies did. Flash, Supergirl. But then there's others that I'm like, Fonjoy, if you take your time and don't repeat the mistakes you did with Pattinson and just take what really worked with that BVS Batman that I sincerely do really like, almost damn near love, you're printing money. You really are. Right now, you're 50-50. You got an amazing figure in that brand new Fonjoy BVS Batman, even though he's got a little bit of a gorilla head. That's That was one of my major criticisms, but one of my few, but still very significant criticisms. But then Pattinson and Batman, there was just so much wrong with it that I'm like, all right, you guys are 50-50. One of two. Please nail, if you can nail that Justice League Batflick, which from the p- photos, it kind of looks pretty good. I'm eager to get it in hand. It looks pretty good from the photos I've seen. Then you'll be at a two out of three, and you'll be back in good graces, and I'll be much more of a subscriber to your guys' uh, line. I highly... Oh, I already read that. I guess those are scene-based looks editions. Joker from the DLC and ass whooping scene. <laughs> Batman ass whooping scene. Really? We could have called it something differently, and you opted to call it the Batman ass whooping scene. <laughs> 